Baghdad Karjanuli is a 24-year-old veterinarian and a close friend of the groom at this wedding in Shimkent, a city in southern Kazakhstan. He isn't the one getting married, but he is anxious. For tonight, he plans to carry out a kidnapping. Baghdad has been with his girlfriend Merwert for one year. Baghdad says his girlfriend knows it will eventually happen, but Merwert does not know she will be kidnapped at the end of this wedding. <laughs> At the end of the wedding, Merwert thinks Baghdad is sending her home, but he isn't. She has been kidnapped. Baghdad's family members are all aware of his kidnapping plans. As their car enters the colorfully decorated street, celebratory music is played and firecrackers are lit. Marwert comes out of the car, and Baghdad's mother covers her head with a white headscarf, also a Kazakh ritual. She's now a bride-to-be. Marwert's calm, clearly acquainted with the ancient Kazakh tradition of bridal kidnapping, a ritual that has been passed down for centuries. <laughs> Baghdad, like many Kazakh men, believes a woman has a certain role. He says the rules of the family are written in the Sharia Quran. Baghdad's proposal is a success, but not all kidnappings are as smooth, especially when the kidnapper decides he wants to marry someone he does not know. There are numerous videos online of bridal kidnappings where the victim can be seen initially resisting. Once the woman is brought to the home of the kidnapper, the women of the house take over. Their role is to convince the victim to stay and surrender. <laughs> Akbota Japar is a psychologist who works for a charity foundation called Mother's House in the Kazakh capital, with years of experience working with struggling women in Kazakhstan. She says the tradition of kidnapping was initially done out of necessity. Ну вот если смотреть вот глубоко в прошлое, да, то я думаю, кража невест сформировалась как культурная традиция, которая помогает молодым 
девушку, девушке и парню избежать таких формальностей, да, которые связаны с замужеством, женитьбой, да, поскольку очень много традиций, которые надо соблюсти в процессе бракосочетания. Да, там, ну, как вы знаете, там несколько этапов, прежде чем... Families often want to host their friends and families in lavish wedding ceremonies. Costs create such a financial burden that many end up in debt. Но в том случае, когда это все происходит с согласия невесты, когда она готова опустить все эти формальности, вот таким... But somewhere along the way, this so-called shortcut was distorted and exploited, and men began to kidnap women without their approval. While kidnapping is illegal in Kazakhstan, bridal kidnapping presents a loophole. If the victim is convinced to marry the kidnapper or is released in the presence of authorities and doesn't sue him, no punishment follows. Zamira Usipbekova was 15, underaged when she was kidnapped by a man in her village, a man she did not know. Now 28, she now lives in a one-room apartment with her three children and has another baby on the way. In her case, the man's family was involved in her kidnapping from the start. Zamira was tricked to believe she was going to a party. She did not want to stay and could have reported this as a crime, but she was brought up to believe in the wisdom of the elders and that they must be respected. But the wishes of the elders were not enough to build a happy marriage for Zamira. Hers turned out to be one full of abuse, both emotional and physical. Despite living apart after their divorce, Zamira says her husband continued to abuse them. The breaking point was when he threatened to kill her by burning down her house with a gas balloon in his hand. She stood defiant and reported her husband to the police to protect her children. But not all marriages that start with kidnappings end in suffering. Marwert is a 43-year-old businesswoman. When she was 18, she was also kidnapped. But in a short period of time, she got to know Tansi Bekov, and together they built a loving, respectful relationship. You killed it. Give this to me. On the day of the kidnapping, Tansibekov's mother, now 67 years old, had welcomed Merwert. 
explained to her that she too had been kidnapped in her youth and promised her kindness. Manwert says she feels blessed and grateful to have been chosen by a caring family. But she does not want to pass on the tradition to her children. Despite having carried out the tradition, Tansi Bekov too is now against the practice. Я думаю, это серьезная травма, это серьезная психологическая травма. Она связана в первую очередь с тем, что ты становишься жертвой, с тобой обращаются помимо твоей воли, как с объектом, как с вещью. И это уже само по себе травматично, когда ты оказываешься в ситуации, где от тебя вообще ничего не зависит, ты беззащитен. Many experts like Japar believe the acceptance of the situation by the woman's parents causes extra psychological damage. То это вторая травма, потому что это отвержение, это предательство. Это самые близкие твои люди оставляют тебя в этой небезопасной ситуации ради интересов семьи. И это двойная травма. If a woman resists and refuses to get married, she is faced with other challenges. Her family might even disown her for bringing shame to the family. Я думаю, это связано вот с ценностями, да, которые вот укоренились в обществе. И, ну, почему юг, да? Потому что юг там более традиционный уклад, более такие коллективистские ценности когда человек ощущает себя частью сообщества, и все, что он делает, он обязательно соотносит с тем, как отнесутся к этому его. In southern Kazakhstan, it's still widely accepted. Even at this women's shelter for victims of domestic violence, bridal kidnapping isn't seen as an issue. Nevertheless, some of the women treated here for abuse also benefit from the psychological support they receive to overcome the trauma resulting from kidnapping. This woman has been staying at the shelter for over a month. Fearing for her safety, she has chosen to remain anonymous. So, Kyum, on to Jason the Kyugitidum, Alpkashta, Yeko Olumus Bolda, so Arakup Shetneda, so Shkilip or Tubile Balasharama, Tanstak Birmegin again, or Sotalka Kumuk Srapkildum. She has been in therapy with a center psychologist. Jacques Strist and Shrub Kazerman. Psychologists emphasize that education is key for change, and it starts from a young age. Japar believes that the perception of a woman's role in society is part of what perpetuates the practice of kidnapping. женщине, да, то есть ценность женщины в этом сообществе, она важна только потому, что женщина, она выполняет определенные функции, да, то есть сама по себе женщина, она как человек здесь не важна, женщина важна, потому что это, это хозяйка, это жена, это мать, и только эти роли ее ставятся 
вот во главу. Жапар stresses that some of these cultural values need to change. И очень важно, чтобы мужчины разделяли с ней эти, эти ценности. И, наверное, вот мужчинам надо транслировать мальчикам те же ценности о том, что человек сам по себе и мужчина и женщина являются ценностью, потому что у них есть выбор. Жапар says that for change to take place, society must be reached through various means. Ну и создание информационного, насыщенного информационного поля, в котором будет делаться акцент на том, что женщиной нельзя так обращаться, это не норма. И это должно быть очень насыщенное информационное поле, те же самые передачи, интервью, любой контент, в котором подчеркивается ценность женщины, ее право на выбор. Meanwhile, those who have experienced the negative impact of a kidnapping are trying to break the tradition by passing on new values to their children. As the role of women in society is being re-examined and redefined globally, Kazakhstan may also be due for a transformation in regard to respect of a woman's will. It may take years for this rooted tradition of bridal kidnapping to completely end, if it ever does. But for now, a growing number of Kazakh citizens agree that it should at least be carried out with the consent of the woman. Mikhail Bardavid for Assignment Asia in Astana, Kazakhstan. Share your thoughts and contribute story ideas for future shows by contacting us on social media.